Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to return to our social network app and we're going to add a few more videos to it. In this first video, we will add the ability to upload a photo with each post. This will just require a couple changes to what we already have and it should be pretty straightforward to complete. But before we start this, we need to fix one issue with our social feed. Um, there looks like there's a bug um, after we make a post with how it displays the follower's post. So let's go ahead and fix that now. So to fix this error, we go into our text editor here. Uh, you'll see inside of our views.py, we have our post list view. And inside there, we have a git and we have a post method. In our post method, you'll see there's an issue with how we're, create, how we're loading in all the posts. In our git method here, we get the logged in user and we filter the posts by if the user that's logged in is following that user on that post. And so that way it's only showing the users that it's following in the actual social feed, uh, like you'd expect in most social networking applications. But in our post method, we're not doing that. We're just getting all the posts and order them by the newest first. So instead, let's go and copy this, this logged in user line and this, this post filter line. Go and copy that and replace our post equals right here. And now that changes, all we need to do, that should fix that issue. And so now your, your social feed should look the same even after you make a post. It shouldn't be an issue with how it's showing there now. So with that done, let's get started by adding images to our posts. And so to get this started, first we'll update our models.py. So inside our models.py file, you'll find our post model here. And below the body, we want to add one more tag or one more field here. So we want to add an image field. And this will be equal to models.image field. And inside of here, we want to go ahead and give it an upload to field. So upload underscore two equals, and then in quotes here, we'll put uploads slash, and we'll do um, post underscore photos. And so this will go to our media directory, and then it'll find a folder called uploads, and then find a folder called post photos. So let's create that real quick. Inside of media, we have uploads. And so there we have profile pictures. Inside of uploads here, I'm gonna create a new folder. And I'm gonna call it post underscore photos. And this is where our posts, our photos for our post will go inside of this directory here. And just as a side note here, if you've been following along, we already used this image field down here in our user profile. We use an image field here. So you should already have pillow installed, but if you don't, you'll need to install that now. So just go ahead and stop your server and type in, you know, pip install pillow with a capital P and you should be good there. I already have my server running and everything there is already set up. So we should be good to go here. Let's go ahead now. And with this change, we'll go ahead and migrate the changes. So for now, I'll go ahead and stop the server for a second. Actually, first, let's sure we save that file. Now go ahead and stop the server. Let's go ahead and run um, Python 3 managed PY make migrations. Oh, I forgot one thing here. So we created this field here, but we want to add one more thing here. We want them still to be able to upload just normal text posts. So we need to add two things here. We want to add a blank equals true so that the user can lead the field blank. And we want to add a null equals true, which will allow the database to store a null value and doesn't require something to be filled in there. And now and that's why we got this error here where it's asking for a default. Uh, let's go ahead and quit. And we'll do this again. So make migrations. And then we'll go ahead and do Python 3 manage.py migrate to migrate those changes over. And with those done, we should have images on our post model now. So next we want to go ahead and update our forms. So I'll go to our forms.py. We have a post form here, and that's what's actually loading up this form here for us. And so we want to add another field down here below this text box that gives the, the user an option to upload a uh, uh, an image. And so at the very bottom here, after the body, let's go ahead and add image equals. And this will be forms.image field. And we'll pass in required equals false. We want to make sure we don't make this field required. So we can pass in just this extra value here to make it an optional field. That way it won't give an error when they try to submit a post without an image. We'll go ahead and save that. And now back inside of our views.py, we need to update this by adding one thing to it. So we have a get method here, 
and we have a form and we just pass in just in a new instance of our form with nothing inside the constructor. Down here, we pass in the request.post, which is the, the body of the request into the constructor here, but you also want to pass in request.files to pass in the files that we, that we added to the form, which will be whatever image file that we uploaded. And that's all we need to change in our view. But right now, our HTML form itself can't handle any images or any files at all. That's because we need to add one more value to the form. So let's go into our templates, social, and we'll find our post list.html. And up here at the top, we have a div that has our form. And our form here, our form tag itself, we have a method. We don't have anything else. And by default, it can't handle files until we add another value of enc type and set that equal to multi-part, multi-part slash form dash data. And you want to go ahead and copy this. And we'll do the same thing on our post edit. So this is where we edit a post. If we want to go ahead and allow them to change their image here, which we will for now, which is fine. Uh, we need to go ahead and add the same thing to our form here as well. So we'll add that right there and save that. And now if we come back to our form here, build the page. We're getting an error. Let's see what that error is about. Oh, we didn't run our server yet. Let's go ahead and rerun our server. And you'll see here, we have an image button here where we can browse and select a file. And that all works, that should all work fine. But before we test this, we need to actually show the image on the posts if there is one. So let's go into our, uh, our post list HTML template. Let's scroll down to where we're listing our posts. And let's put this right above the text itself. So right here, I'm putting in the, the text of the post. And you'll see here we have a div with a position relative class on it. And inside there we have the, the actual text and a link that will stretch it to allow this whole thing to be clickable. I want the image to be clickable as well to go to the new post. So I want to make sure I put this inside of this div here. And what I want to do is I want to first check if there is a post. And if there is, I'm going to go ahead and show the, the IMG tag itself to actually show the post on the screen. And so to do this, I'll start with some Django template syntax by typing in uh, curly braces, 2% signs, and type if post.image. And we have access to this image field because on our model, we called it image. So we can do post.image to get that image. If there is one, we want to go ahead and show the actual image. So make sure we close out this tag before we forget. And now inside of this if statement here, I'm going to go and create an IMG tag and put set the source equaling to two color braces. And this will be post.image.url. And this will just get the URL image, which will take us into our media uploads, post photos, into the actual image file in there. And make sure we close off this tag here. And we also want to add a class as well, equaling to post-image to add any styles to kind of, you know, contain this within our container and anything else we want to do to make the image look better. Okay, now with that done, let's go ahead and add the styles now to this class, this post-image class. So we'll go into our static, into our style at CSS, and I'll put this um, right below this post-img. We'll do a post-image now, and this will hold the styles for that. And so first thing we want to do, we want to set the max width to 100%. This will set it to the width of our container, which in this case will be that actual column that we're in. And so we'll put 100%. And then next, we want to go ahead and set the height to auto. So automatically fit the image and keep it the, the uh, dimensions uh, or the ratio the same. And then next, we want to go ahead and give it a small border radius just around the corners. So border dash radius. This will be 10 px. And then we'll add a margin bottom just to give it some space between this and the actual text of the post. We'll add 10 px there as well. Go ahead and save that. Now let's go ahead and try this out and see how it works. So back in the browser, I'll we'll go ahead and reload the page. I'll add a post. Just say, I'll just say hi. Pick a file. And we'll go ahead and hit submit. And right now this won't show up because we're not following our own user. So we need to go ahead and add this to the profile itself. And then we'll see if the image shows up there. So back inside of our text editor, let's go ahead and go to our, well, first we'll go back to our post list. I'm gonna go and just copy this. So this if statement, all the way down to the end if, we'll go and copy that. Go into our profile, 
come down here to where we're putting out a post listing out the posts, which right here, we'll do the four posts and posts. Um, we'll find the same thing here. We have a position relative class and our post.body. So paste this right above that and save that. Come back here. Now let's go to our profile and see what that's looking like. So it looks like it did not put the image there. So actually what I forgot to do here was I added the image field to the actual form, but I didn't add it to the meta class. So in the meta class, we'll set the model in a field to save to the database. And so in this case, we want to go ahead and add image there as well. And that will save it. That should, that should save it now. So let's go ahead and try this again. Let's go back into our browser here. So let's add another post. And we'll pick an image, submit that. Let's go to our profile. And there we go. So now it's showing up here, although there is an issue looks like with our size, but at least our image now is showing up. So now let's go ahead and fix that size. Oh, you know what? I did 100 VH here. This should not, I don't know why I did that. That should be auto. Let's go and fix that and save that. Now we come back here, load the page. And there we go. So now we have our image showing up correctly. And we have our text showing up below here. So that's all working very well. And the same thing should happen on our list post list if we were to log in as this test five user and look at this at the post at this post itself on our social feed. And that should really be it. That's all we need to do to add our posts to give our posts uh, images. And so that was a pretty quick and easy video. If you wanted to, you come back and you could style this button up some. Uh, I'm not going to do that here. If you want to do that, that's fine. You could easily add that addition to this. But other than that, though, we can add images to our post now. So that's all we need to do in this video. So this was a pretty quick one. We're going to have another one, which will be a little more complicated next. I'll probably set up some sort of DM system inside this application. Uh, but I want to do this quick and easier video first before we get into that. So that will come out next. Um, but for now, we'll stop here. The code will be in the description below, as well as links to the written tutorial and anything else that's usually down there. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.